fly back to the nest. It might lead us to the others. make you feel alive. interested in this. Stakes through the heart, mouths filled with dirt. Harry, the Butch Vlad jury's about to come back in. Now, would you like to get over there, or would you like them to drop by and tell you what they've decided? What's that? In Texas last night, 17-year-old boy stabs his parents to death and burns the house down. What doesn't say the kid did it? What makes you think the kid did it? Because he took off. They went through the house, couldn't find any part of them. They'll catch him. They'll turn over the Social Security office to give her orphans benefits. I like that in your mark. You always look for the best in people. What about you? Why are you so interested in these weird cases? Is this a hobby? Is there at least a featured story in it? Maybe. Some freakos have been showing up on local talk shows. I'll drop in on a couple. Harry! I told you I want you to stop leaning on Eli Chalaren. And I told you it's my byline. Let me spell something out for you. You work for me. You report the truth the way I see it. That's nice, Marv. 
Nine more commandments, you can start your own religion. Get them off of her! Sorry, Mr. Martin. Got a little crowded in there, huh? <laughs> we'll take the next car. My uncle doesn't care for what you've been writing about us. I know. I heard. Good. Uh, we're sort of family. Distant cousins. I had the pleasure of watching him grow up into the evil little Shrike that he is. Why do they call themselves that? Shrikes. Oh, it's uh, truth in advertising. <clears throat> These Shrikes are unpleasant little birds that impale their prey on thorn bushes. Well, thanks for stepping in, Mr. Martin, but I believe I could have handled them. Well, nobody who's watched the way you move in court would doubt that. Do I take that for a professional compliment or a cheap sexual innuendo? A little of both. Thanks. I could use a little of both. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in the matter of the county of Los Angeles versus Butcher Bird Vlad, have you reached a verdict in this case? No, Your Honor. We, the jury, find... Eli. Do you like your <laughs> Your Honor, we, the jury, find ourselves hopelessly deadlocked. Nine to three. And I have no choice but to declare a mistrial. This jury is dismissed. Order. I want order in this courtroom. Your Honor, the prosecution is planning an immediate date for a new trial. Take the judge! So much for professional compliments. How are you fixed for sexual innuendo? It wasn't your fault. No? Whose fault was it? When I didn't get their attention, I didn't reach them. You reached them. So did somebody else. Uh, look, uh, I've, I've covered a lot of these, and uh, you can never predict what a jury's going to do. Mr. Martin, is there something I should know about? Absolutely. I don't want anyone call me mister but my mother. Well, Harry, since the last thing I'd like to be is your mother, how about you let me let you take me out to lunch? I would really love to, but... 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 A, you're married. B, you're living with someone. C, you're gay. Or D, you're otherwise encumbered. 
fifty. I am otherwise encumbered. Uh, look, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta catch up with a guy. I, I'll see you in court. Sure. Uh, look, I, I've got to go to this party on Sunday night. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a family thing. Would you like to go with me? What happened to D, otherwise encumbered? What happened to Cold Fusion? I, I'll call you at your office. Eli! What else could I do? His family. How could I face Aunt Rodique if I let him go to prison? He broke an old lady's arm. He stole her purse. He urinated on a police officer. He belongs in jail. And you can't go around buying juries to keep him out. I can't. Harry, what's the matter with you? I just did. And you can't prove it either. And you wouldn't. Would you? Because we're family, too. Can't? I don't want to hear can't. Get those people out of there! I want those leases on my desk before the end of the day, and I want the whole site leveled before the end of the week. That is what it is like now. Shacks, hovels. This is what it's going to be. 600-room International Hotel, shopping mall, a whole new city center, the Long Beach Champs-Élysées. Uh, there are people living in those hovels, Eli. What about them? Oh, they'll find new hovels. They always do. Understand, Harry. I am rebuilding this entire peninsula from scratch. I'm flying in timber from Oregon, black sand from Fiji. Judges, Eli? Did you buy the judge, too? I'm a free market economist. Everybody knows that. But even I can only buy what's for sale. And you think that's everything? Oh, I know it is. I went to see your bosses, Harry. I complained about you. I know, I heard. Know what they did? These people you write so diligently for, who pay you less money than I pay my wine steward, they offered to sell me the newspaper. They offered to sell me you, Harry. What would you do if you suddenly found yourself working for me? The honorable thing. Quit. Get a job playing a piano in a whorehouse. Hmm. That's what I figured. Otherwise, I'd have bought the scurvy rag. You make things for sale, Eli. You invent corruption. And don't you ever sell it short, Harry. Corruption is the last untapped resource of pure energy on the planet. It feeds the market. It drives the economy. Corruption empowers Harry. And absolute corruption empowers absolutely. Save your country, screw somebody over. Live better than everyone around you, Harry. That is the patriotic. You know, Eli, it's guys like you that are sucking the life out of this country. But you and I have something more important to talk about, Eli, because it looks like it's starting up again. What? What's starting up? Hickory stakes, damp earth, it's starting again.
What's the matter, country mouse? You lost? Not anymore. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Long Beach. What are you talking about? What do you mean you're expecting me? They usually show up here, the strays, the flyaways. You've been shot, Sam. Ooh, they put one in you. It's OK. I heal fast. I know, we do, we do. Look, uh, the guy that owns this place, Mr. Schlaren. I'm supposed to look him up. It's important. Y'all wouldn't happen to know where I could find him, would you? Well, I guess this is your lucky day, Country Mouse, because it just so happens that we do. <laughs> At least you won't be sleeping in a park tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, who's the Schlar guy, anyhow? He's my uncle. Maybe your uncle, too. part of all of this? You mean funny I don't look Carpathian? Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, Harry Martin, what kind of a name is that? Uh, Harlevon Martinescu. Mm. Shortened for bylines and book jackets. Someday. <laughs> <clears throat> I have to confess, geography was never my strong area. I'm not even sure where Carpathia is. And isn't it somewhere near uh, Transylvania? It's in the neighborhood. I like the neighborhood. <laughs> oh. oh, counselor, excuse me. Evening, Judge. Harry, that was Judge Morgan. What's he doing here? Well, Eli Chalaran is a friend to politicians of every stripe and predilection. I guess. I've already seen three judges, a congressman, two city councilmen. And a DA and a pear tree. Not me. I'm not on that list. I'm here with you. Well, how would you like to get out of here with me? Go someplace quiet, get a cup of coffee. Well, wouldn't that be kind of rude? I mean, I haven't even met our host yet. Well, I can fix that. There he is. 
that's what he likes to learn. Is that his wife? Oh, she's beautiful. That's his sister. No, his half-sister. Kid. Wait here for me. I'll be back. Happy birthday, Uncle Eli. <laughs> and I tried to get to him. And I tried to get through the fire. But it was just too hot. And I finally there just wasn't anything else I could do, but. It's okay, Cody. You're with friends now. Yeah? How do I know that? I mean, who are you people anyway, huh? What am I doing here? Why don't you tell us? My folks, my mom and my dad, they had this feeling that something was gonna happen. And they said that if it did, don't go to the sheriff. They said to come here to him, to Mr. Chilaran. What did your folks tell you, son, about your background, about your people? Nothing much. I didn't think there was much to tell. That they came from Europe someplace, and, well, they didn't even know much about ranching or cattle. Your parents were old friends of ours, Cody. From before they decided to move out. You did right to come back here. But what about the guys who killed them, huh? I want to go back to Mr. Chalaran. I want to get those guys. You won't have to go after them. They're going to show up here. in a little while. Thank you. Just a little emergency meeting of the Carpathian Health and Welfare Society. Harry's on the board. <laughs> Have you known him long? Just a couple of weeks. We're just friends. Wow. Lucky for you. Harry. See ya. Harry can be a very delightful friend. <laughs> they say she had a husband once, but she ate him. <laughs> Dance with me. Maybe it'll change your luck. My luck is fine. Didn't look like that in court. I guess I put a dent in your career, huh? All you did, Butch, was put a bigger price on your head. Now every cop in Long Beach has your picture pasted to his shotgun. My goodness, Miss Lauren. I didn't realize you were so bloodthirsty. Yeah. You ever make love on a moving motorcycle? It can be done. Do you have any idea why you behind Harry? You know, I think that the last thing Harlevin needs right now is you. They're 
should have told him. It was their obligation to tell him. Now, somebody has to do it. It will be a shock for him. Harlevin, you do it. You tell him when he's ready. He says he doesn't think they followed him. How could he know? That boy didn't escape. The hunters let him get away. They'll show up here soon. Count on it. And we'll be ready for them. No, we won't. What do you think we ought to do about it, Harry? Call a cop? <laughs> yeah. Call a cop. We live in this country. We have lived in this country for three, four generations. We're Americans. Carpathian Americans. We work here, we vote here, we pay taxes. We're entitled to the protection of the law. I think it's time we came out of the damned coffin. All right, Harry. Claim your civil rights. You go on out there and explain to good, affordable American Judge Morgan how your parents, grandparents lived in a cave. How they dropped from trees onto the backs of travelers and gorged on their blood. Explain to your little wasp popsy from the DA's office how after the slaughter they just lay there on the road like ticks, too bloated to move, licking the last sweet corpuscles from the tips of their fingers. Fine, Eli. Meanwhile, her ancestors were clubbing their brains out in the peat bogs of Ireland. We're all trying to get civilized. It's just some of us have a little trouble getting the hang of it. I, for instance, don't get the hang of it. We cannot go on doing everything in the old ways. I mean, if you can't lick them, join them, right, Harry? That's all you have really ever wanted, isn't it? To be one of them. I am as good a Carpathian as any man in this room. Yo are a damned assimilationist. And I may not be civilized, but I'm also not the one who's slipping it to the Pillsbury Dough Girl. First, you sleep with them. Next, you're breeding with them. Then you've got to strangle some half-breed little bastard in its cradle, because it will grow up and drive a stake through your heart. That is racist crap, Eli, and you know it. Is it? What are you going to do about it, Harry? Bite me! Go for my throat! You've lost the taste for such things, haven't you? <laughs> enough! Eli! Oliver! That's enough. Is that what you two are going to be doing when these hunters show up? Biting and snapping at each other? They're lighting up their fiery torches and unleashing their hounds? When the pogrom begins, we're all in this together. We have to watch, stay alert, see where they show themselves, or they'll slay us, everyone. Harry? I'm sorry, Vasile. I let Eli get a hook into me. You have the right to expect better. Yes, I do. These hunters, they have to be found. They have to be stopped before they hurt anybody. I'm working on it. Good. I know I can depend on you. About the woman, Harry. Is it true? Whether it is or whether it isn't, it's nobody's business but mine. And hers.
is decaffeinated, okay? It's all I've got. Perfect. You people made it seem like the return of the prodigal. We have a taste for the melodramatic. Comes from too much inbreeding. <laughs> I had fun tonight, Harry. Your family's sweet. Well, most of them. What sort of a medallion was that boy wearing? Uh, a, a cameo of Lilith, cut in blood amber. It's a good luck charm. Oh, I know Lilith. Um, sort of a, a goddess or a demon from rabbinical mythology. Oh, she was Adam's first wife. You're kidding me, right? It's in the Apocrypha. Look it up. Before Eve, Adam was married to Lilith. And? Oh, she got pushy. When they made love, she, <laughs> she uh, wanted to be... On top? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, Adam said no, and she said, okay, then I have a headache. And so Adam went whining to God, and God, who at this point didn't have a whole lot of experience with um, complaints, said, uh, okay, he would have one more shot at making a better-tempered woman. The rest you know. He put Eve together out of spare parts. Well, I would never do that. Um, do what? Insist. A lady waits to be asked. And, um, you're a lady. Mostly. <laughs> There's something about me, you know, sense of mystery, hint of danger. You're right, you know, there is. So, what happened to Lilith? Oh, she took off, hooked up with a guy named Asmodeus. That uh, started up her own group. I remember. This is where all of the hobgoblins come from, right? All of the uh, fiends and hellhounds and succubuses. <laughs> you don't believe in all that, do you? I mean, female creatures who visit men in the night and seduce them in their beds and suck their blood. Before you even thought about getting involved with a, a guy, a guy like me. Harry, Harry, we'll talk about this in the morning. If I don't stay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sorry, aren't I? Come on, country mouse. We're gonna help you get your mind off your troubles. Come on. Uncle Eli wants you to, um, to get to know your family.
too. You know, I was just lying here thinking. Well, maybe I frightened you off because I know European men, well, they don't expect a woman to come on like that. They expect them to be demure and ladylike and wait to be asked. Okay, I'm asking. Uh, Amy, uh, what about we have dinner sometime uh, this week? How about Friday night? Okay, Friday night. Yeah, yeah, I think I can do Friday night. I've got a court case, but over a long, it's an armed robbery case. She's not for you, Harry. She's a Twinkie. All blonde and sticky and full of white goo. But you know what I'm full of. You do, don't you? Amy, look, I've got something boiling over here. I'll uh, call you in the morning. Yes, Harry? Use the door. Satisfied. Doctor, 
Amy, if you could just check this out with the Texas authorities for me. No, I really do want to talk about last night. Look, how about you run down this Texas thing for me? I'll come by your office. I'll explain everything. Okay, here it is. They've dropped the murder warrant on the boy. They don't think he did it. But they will be wanting him back for material witness. Do they have any suspects? Really, Harry, the taxpayers don't pay me to be your private detective now, if you don't mind. My caseload is a little backed up here. Amy, this is important. Why? Why is something that happened all the way down in Texas so important to you? Well, no, no, I, I promised Marv I'd do a feature story on these ritual murders that seem to keep escalating around the country. That's all. Of course. And reporters have to cultivate their sources. Amy, I promise you that isn't what last night was about. My motives were far more sinister than that. But your family has rules about seeing people who aren't ethnically correct. A little reverse discrimination. Well, I guess I'm blonde enough to deal with it. You know, I believe you are. Okay. The forensic guys in Texas say at least two people did the killings, probably three. Any witnesses? Any clues? Whoever they were, they've evaporated. Maybe even left the state. Well, Amy, thanks for this. I've got to find Cody. Uh, we're still on for Friday, right? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. What are you afraid of? That I want to. More than I should. That's what I'm afraid of. Me too. Look, I've got to go cover the Alex Smart TV show Friday. It's for this piece I'm running. Come with me. I'll pick you up around four. Harry! I'm getting some mixed signals from you. Is this a date or just an opportunity to see an ace reporter at work? A little of each. After the show, I'm going to take you to the finest Carpathian restaurant in North America. They failed. We usually don't get started around here until tea time. Give it back to me. What? This? You gave me this, don't you remember? It was a token of our friendship. Well, let me tell you this, city mouse. That belonged to my grandmother. And if you don't give it back, I'm gonna rip your face off. I thought we were blood brothers. They mean not much to you, this old brooch. Well, let me tell you something about your grandma. She sucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're a foul-mouthed son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, I am that. I'm also a thief and a liar and um, a poor sport. <laughs> because what I say is, you got the name you might as well have the game. Hmm? No! <laughs> what game? It's called Devil Take the Hindmost. And there are only two rules. Grab what you want and don't get caught. Now, that shouldn't be so difficult to manage, even for a dumb rodeo, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me that? 
If I don't, they will. They won't ever let you forget what you are, so why even bother? You really don't know what I'm talking about. They haven't told you? Whoa. Well, then I guess it's time you found out. You're one of us, vamp. Spawn of hell. Creatures from the dark side. Monsters. Fiends. You might as well get behind it because it's your birthright. Because, hey, 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 see, your grandma, your mama, your daddy, all of them drank blood. Yeah. I didn't tell him anything. Harry, that's it, isn't it? My parents, they were vampires. And you, you're a vampire. Don't let me ever again hear you use that word. It's an ugly word. You're a Carpathian. Your parents were... We're all Carpathians. So this means what? That I get to live forever? Or? No, you don't get to live forever. 100, 125 maybe. Well, how old are you? A little older than I look. Oh, so if I, like, buy somebody on the neck, does that give me power over them and then they become one? And, For know. God's sakes, Cody, where did you pick up all this crap? Didn't your parents teach you anything? Sorry. Well, maybe it's time we talked about a couple of things. Okay, we're stronger than people. 10, 20, it depends. 30% stronger. And we heal faster. And it takes a wooden shaft or a silver bullet to kill us, right? I wouldn't stand in front of any moving taxi cabs. Oh, but we are better in the sack, am I right? 20, 30 percent? Oh, I knew that. I always knew that. <laughs> and then they do what? It's a beautiful thing that happens between a male and a female Carpathian when, you know, at the propitious moment. Look, it's like when two animals become highly sexually aroused at you know. Come on, Cody, what is this, the bats and the bees? I can't do this. OK, OK, I get it. So what you're telling me is that when two of us make love, yeah, that we sometimes bite each other? It's an acquired taste. But you only do that if the woman wants to, you know what I mean? Oh, sure, consenting adults, right, Harry? Uh, so you do this to, like, regular women, or...? They're mostly not into that. Oh. Well, what about that girl you were with at the party? Does she, like...? That is none of your business. What about my folks? Do you suppose they...? <laughs> I don't even want to picture that one. I guess I always did know that my parents were a little strange. I mean, most of my friends thought so. You know, they're kind of old country. But they were my folks, and I loved them. I mean, I still do love them. But how come, Harry? I mean, how come they never told me that they were nothing but a pair of damn vamp... I'm sorry. Where the hell are these guys? These, these, these vampire hunters? 
I mean, why don't they show themselves? Or, or why don't they just do something? They will. But they'll pick their time, and they'll pick their target. Yeah, we'll be there, right? And then we'll get them. No, I'll be there, Cody. It's my job to handle this in a certain way. What way? The right way, the legal way. If I can. prefers his whiskey neat and his women naked. But if you want my best advice, get a tattoo. Damn her. Is he one of us? I don't know. Maybe. What about her? Is she? Cody, why do you keep asking me this? I don't know. Well, because I want to know how you can tell. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just know. Well, what about this guy? Is he one? Because these three citizens say we have vampires living next door to us. Next time you want to go borrow a cup of coffee from your neighbor or establish a walk, wooden spike in a ball It's them. And Mr. Sherrod. Don't be silly, Cody. These are just three of our local crackpots. Not those three of men in the audience. I'll be right back. Oh, my God. Where is that place? I've got to get over there. Please, Mr. Salarn. I can't let them get away. What's your bed? Go with him. Okay, we're here talking with these folks from the Western Regional Branch of the SCAV. That stands for? The Southern Coalition Against Vampirism. Okay. So, what you people are saying, check me out on this, is that we have actual blood-sucking vampires living all right in amongst us. Yes. That's right. So anybody could be one. My neighbor could be one. My dentist could be one. Even my ex-wife could be one. You know, I think that's it. I think I was really married to one. I mean, man, oh, man, if she could suck blood the way that she sucked money. <laughs> so what you're saying, what you're telling... Don't be afraid, I'm not gonna bite you. Mm. What you're telling us, we could have... We could have them right here in this very room. Killer vampires in this very audience. All right, now, quiet, everybody. Okay, now, ladies, take a look at the guy sitting next to you. Is he starting to whistle fangs for the mammaries? <laughs> you know who they are. Who? You don't have to ask. You've seen their eyes. Their eyes? They're dirty. They have dirty eyes. They are disgusting. It's disgusting when you have to be in the same room with one or if you have to sit down next to one on a bus. I think I know the gentleman to whom you were friend. I sat next to him on the bus on the way to work this morning. But frankly, I think it was more... Harry, Harry, look over there. I've seen that guy before, the one in the blonde beard. At Fashion Island, I was in the lingerie shop. Celia was there. 
It looked like he was following her. For the sake of all, let's say we meet one of these characters in a morning. You know who they are, don't you? You knew they'd be here. I thought they might. I wasn't sure. We bring some things that uh, the ordinary citizen can use to protect himself against uh, attack. Uh, here's some garlic. Uh, they hate this. Oh, well, I love garlic, so I'm okay there. And, uh, you get your cross. Very Don't good. stare at them. And a uh, small hand mirror. Uh, you hold this up to their face. <laughs> the, uh, vampire can't see his reflection. See, that drives him crazy. Did you put it down yet? Yeah. Good. Okay. One last question. If you don't have any garlic in the house, can you use a pepperoni? <laughs> I'm kidding, all right, I'm kidding. Can we all just lighten up here for a second, all right? We're all getting a little tense. We'll take a hot dog and get... You fools. What are you laughing at? Don't you know we have come to warn you? I know, wait here. I mean it. What are you waiting for? Until they take your parking places? Your wives, your jobs. They want your jobs. That foul thing. Please. Get that thing out of my face, or I'm gonna... On second thought, the cross will probably do the job. Uh, guys, look, I'm a reporter, okay? I work for the Post-Gazette. We know who and what you are, Mr. Martin S. Q. Then we might as well get to the crux of it. You killed some folks, you're gonna have to pay for that. They were brutes. They were demons. They weren't bothering anybody. They had as much right to live as you. Now, you can either answer up in a Texas courtroom, if any of my people saw you on television, they're already on their way here. I guess it does pay to advertise. Now listen to me, you half-witted stump jumper. I want to see an end to this bloodletting that's been going on between our people for a hundred generations. Harry, what's going on? Amy, get out of here. That's the one that's fornicating with this one. We have not fornicated. Why is this suddenly everybody's business? Whoa. Kill it. Kill them both. Oh, didn't you, Harry? You told them we were coming, right? I had to give them a chance to turn themselves in. No, you had to rip the lungs out is what you had to do. Let's get out of here. Forever trying to save me. One of these days you're gonna have to decide whether to throw me back or keep me. Okay, I know you told me to stay there. That's right. I told you to stay there. So I didn't stay. So what? You just about got yourself skewered in there. Me too. Yeah. I sort of thought I'd talk to you about that. Harry, that guy with the crucifix really thinks you're a vampire. Yeah, he really does. What do you think? 
Well, of course I don't think that. There's no such thing as vampires. Good. Then we can drop it. Who are you, Harry? Who the hell are you? What are you involved in? What is it your family does? What? What are they? A horse thieves? Are they a crime syndicate? What? What's behind all of those dark Carpathian eyes? And what are all these damn secrets? That's exactly what they are. Damned secrets. Now, please, can you back off? Yeah, I can back off. I can back way off. I'll see you in court, Harry. Sometime. to belong to you. You need this horse, Cody. Your life depends on it. It's gonna take you so fast and so far that none of them, no cops of them, no hunters of them, will ever be able to touch you. Check it out of my head that we stole that bike. Not stole, fam. Liberated. See, it's not stealing to take what they owe us. For all those years of persecution. And for all the lousy things they say about us. It's what we've got coming to us, Cody. And it's what they're out there for. Working, spinning, grazing, fattening. And their only purpose in this life is to be there for us to feed off. <laughs> you see? Are you there? Oh, no. Celia, turn back. give you anything. Look, I'm sorry I called you a damned assimilationist. Look, I've got this tape. 
may give us some idea of what they're up to. You know, it's your fault, Harry. It's all your damn fault she was taken. You're the one who tells her it's all right to go off on her own. Think I don't know who she goes out to see? Think I don't recognize your mark on her throat? Eli, Harry has something he wants to show us. If anything happens to my sister, I'm coming after you, Halloran! Nothing is going to happen to Celia. She's not who they want. She's bait. Now come here and watch this. I care about her as much as you do. We know who you are. We know where you are. Don't make us come to you. We will meet with you. The hour of the jackal. Come on. At the false Elysium. We will have something that you want. At the false Elysium. Hour of the jackal. At the false Elysium. That's it, all right. They've thrown down the gauntlet. What's going on? The hunters have put out a challenge. They know that we'll come after Celia. It's kind of a traditional thing, you know. Back in the old country, they say it used to get ugly. Tonight, the hour of the jackal. 3 a.m. Question is, where? Why don't they just say where? <laughs> Elysium. It's just, just always been done like that with ciphers and cryptograms. Paradise. Nirvana, Utopia, Zion. Xanadu. False Elysium. Let's make ourselves ready. Cody, come with me. I want to show you someplace. You don't feel the pull of this place? A little spooky, maybe. Your mom and dad were married here. Under the stars. Is that so? I stood right about there. I was 11 years old. And they weren't much more than kids themselves, really. They were giggling, kneeling in front of the priest, exchanging glances while the old man prayed. You want to spare me the trip down memory lane? Butch is waiting for me. OK, then we'll cut right to it. Your folks left this place because they wanted a different kind of life for you, Cody. One where everything didn't have to be settled in the old ways. And what did they find, Harry? Humanity? And what was it that drove wooden spikes into their hearts? Human kindness? And am I supposed to forgive these people? No. Then why shouldn't I kill them back? I'm not sure, Cody. I'm not there myself yet. Then could we get out of here? I've got some things to take care of before the hour of the jackal. So do I. I don't care what anybody says. I just had to see you one more time, just in case.
you been, Val? You've been out riding around, thinking about stuff. Well, get off that. We're taking the attack bikes tonight.
to answer to all of us. Earth. Carpathian Earth. Harlevin, you have something to say before we rule? These people are not for us to deal with. They belong to the Texas courts. Give me a damn break, Harry. Texas courts will turn them loose before you can say, kiss my habeas corpus. They'll be back by the busload, singing hymns, sharpening fence pickets. Right? Count on it. They want us to do this. Can't you see it? They don't care what price they have to pay. It makes us what they say we are. And that justifies the slaughter. Slaughter justifies slaughter. They invented it. They invested in it. Now these notes are coming due. They owe this boy. They owe his parents. And we owe him reason. It's time. Harry? You know how I feel.
me. Right, Marv. I'm on it. Those guys, the vampire hunters, I found them. Dead. Washed up on a beach. Ooh. I gotta cover it. It's a good thing someone knew where you were last night. Uh, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> 